Hi, today we're going to show you just how easy it is to draw this Kite Magic Solar Car Kit in 3D. Here's a really quick look ahead, a rough sketch of what we're going to be doing. Once we draw the base, then we'll be using some ellipses to represent some wheels, a solar cell, and a battery box in the back, and maybe an electric motor. Here's a look at the motor running. I'm going to switch it on and use a texture on the little gear. And the little gear's touching against the bigger gear, which slows the wheel down. All right, let's get started. I'm going to draw a right and left splat line. I'm going to rotate upside down. I'm not drawing a cube today. What I'm drawing is a flat surface. So match the corners, another left and right line, and bingo, that's my flat surface. But I need it to be more like a rectangle, so I'm going to go back to my starting point, put my pencil anywhere on that edge, and slide the splat along. So that'll give me two squares. I've already drawn that one in. So I'm just going to rotate here, match the corners, and easy, there's my base. Now, even though I'm drawing my lines dark, I would leave them nice and light if I was you. The reason is that you'll probably end up erasing a lot of them when we start adding wheels and things like that. But for clarity, I'm going to use a rule and complete them there for you. It's something that you'll do later. To add some thickness, we're going to pick three points and drop a line straight down, which is sometimes called a vertical line. Make sure those three lines are the same length. Now we need to connect the ends of those lines. You can just use a rule or from the starting point, drop down and use the splat angle. I could slide or use a rule to extend that line to the end. This little yellow plastic base is made of something called core flute. To add those little vertical lines, you could use the side of the splat and just bring lots down. Just make sure the splat stays straight up and down. All the way to the end. And here's a trick to make it look more 3D. From each of the corners, run a little line back on the splat angle. And a little bit of shadow on these surfaces makes it look really trick. You can see the axle runs all the way through the core flute and extends out and holds our wheels. Decide where you want to start your wheels and let's draw in where the axle goes. That helps us find where it comes out at the other end. Let's go ahead and draw a wheel on the close end. Here I am centering the ellipse on that spot. Draw in a whole ellipse and then I'm going to slide the splat. Put your pencil anywhere along there as a helper if you like and we slide the splat in the direction of the arrow. Slide it along and draw a second ellipse. I'm going to need to connect the top and bottom of the ellipses and what I'm really making here is a cylinder. I'm erasing to tidy up and then firm it back in. Pick the point for your back wheel. This time I'm being sneaky and I'm erasing first so that I don't have to draw the wheel twice. Find that spot and I'm only drawing half an ellipse. I'm sliding in the same direction, give yourself a point, slide to that point and draw in the whole ellipse. Connect the top and the bottom, bingo. Remember the axle we drew earlier? Find where it comes out on the other end. That's your starting point for the far wheel. Center the ellipse on that point but only darken in what's not hidden by the base. This time we're putting the pencil under that side and sliding in the other direction. The more you slide, the thicker your wheels will be. So try to keep them the same thickness if you can. It makes your drawing look really good. I'm imagining the axle at the back and there's my starting point for the very far wheel. And this one, I only see kind of half a wheel. Sliding in that direction. Pencil under that side. 
Make sure you keep the splat straight up and down when you're doing this, or your angles look a bit rocky. And we only need to connect the top. Cool, that's looking really good. I'm going to center the splat back on that ellipse and mark in a new starting point. I'm using this little ellipse. See those two little marks? They line up with that splat angle. Now I'm going to center it on that mark and draw it in. You might have to practice a few of those. That's giving the wheel a little bit of detail. To make it look like it's um, hollowed out, I'm going to slide in that direction and mark in part of that ellipse. How cool is that? Same at the back. Let's center it to find our center of that ellipse. Turn it until those two little blips are lined up with one of the isometric lines. That gives you your angle. Center it on your spot. Whole ellipse. Slide. Maybe to the center. And draw in that. Hey presto! So that's the kind of detail. On the back of the wheel, they're pretty much hollow, but it has some thickness, a little rim. So let's follow that outside ellipse and just hand draw that one in and a little cylinder in the middle where the axle sticks into. Same at the back. So that's the basis. And you could add anything design, but we're going to try and draw a solar cell in here. So I'm picking a starting point, and I'm going to draw a short and a long splat line. That one's not quite long enough, so let's extend it a little bit. And I'm copying the front line there, that one. And I'll need to make a copy of that long one, starting from there. You can use the splat to help you get those angles. If you're good enough, you might be able to start and uh, guess it freehand drop some thickness down from three points add your thickness and there's your solar cell it'll fix up there what about some batteries pick a starting point and we might stick the batteries way out the back so we go a long and a short line and a vertical straight up and down line just going to erase that now I need to make a copy of the long line and copy the short line. Connect them with a vertical line. Make sure the splat's straight up and down for this. And the far edges I find by tipping it upside down a short line. Copy the long line from there. If you're a beginner drawer and these lines all look confusing, I promise you with a little bit of practice it will become much easier. Here's how to draw an electric motor. I'm doing it fast here and then I'll go again and show you slowly. That's the little gear on the end of the shaft. So give yourself a guideline on one of the splat directions. Tilt that small ellipse and line it up with that guideline. Draw in half an ellipse on the far end and a full ellipse down here. Some of it's hidden by the battery box of course. Join the top and bottom, you've really got a cylinder. Let's do a little erasing, a little fix up. And there you go. For those already looking for the next challenge, try drawing some batteries into the battery box. Notice how the little blips are lined up on the other splat angle. I'm really drawing two small cylinders there. I'll come back and finish those in a minute. For my solar cell, you'd use either a black or a grey pencil. Here I'm using an art marker just to speed things up a little bit. That light line is like a reflection straight down towards you. Now we're doing the base, which is in yellow. I'm leaving a little gap uh, that is a white reflection. That white reflection makes the tyres look uh, more shiny. If you want them matte or not shiny, then don't leave the reflection. Come in back behind and add a little bit more shadow, a bit of contrast, which means lighter colours next to a darker shade. Come back with a dark pencil line or a little felt tip pen and draw in the outlines.
there's a little white reflection on the battery. It helps trick your eye into making it look circular. Now I'm drawing what's called a cutting line around the outside of each of the wheels. Darken it in. No need to darken in that line that comes towards you on the wheels. But right around the outside of the drawing, let's do a cutting line. Cutting lines where you would cut it out with scissors. Here I'm adding a wire or two. So this has battery backup for those cloudy days. Here's a, an imaginary horizon. Just going to draw that in, maybe a few mountains. And to make it look like it's out in the sun, let's add a little bit of shadow. 